Hey, what's going on everybody? I hope you're having a great weekend and of course, welcome to day 10 of the 12 days of Christmas. Merry Christmas and happy holidays to everybody out there. I can't believe we've hit double digits now in the series. That's crazy. We only have Christmas Eve Eve, which is today, Christmas Eve tomorrow, and then of course Christmas Day. So I can't wait. Exciting times going on right now. Let me know what you guys have in store, what you have planned for this Christmas season in the comment section below. And without any further ado, let's just get right into the review here of Fireball Beach Rich Mixin, or maybe Sandy Rich Mixin, however you want to call it. But a lot of people suggested me to review both the Fireball Beach Rich Mixin and the regular Rich Mixin. And I decided just to take everybody who suggested them and just put them into one because they are very similar and the review of one would pretty much be the review of the other as well. And I want to publicize it as the Fireball Beach version because I actually never got around to reviewing that one as a normal video. So Aiden Slay, congratulations, you received the shout out. Thank you very much for those kind words there. I am, can't believe I'm somebody's hero, but that is very endearing and heartwarming to me. So thank you very much for saying that. And let's just get into the history of Rich Mixon. So he's probably the most iconic release of the year, at least in my opinion, because of the fact that he was released pretty early on. In case B and C, B without the collector card, C with the collector card, both made in China. So this is a KC release here, as you can see with that collector card. I did unbox one of these with the collector card in my big unboxing 50 cards video. Link to that is in the description below. But then more recently, they reproduced him in Thailand. No collector card, but as you can see, he's extremely different in terms of the paint finish. Way shinier, the eyes are different, and I think he actually looks pretty cool. The art even looks a little fresher and more crisp in my opinion, so I have to say this Thailand release is approved by Disney Docket without a doubt. But the Fireball Beach version that they came out with in late summer, or maybe early fall, somewhere around there, like in the middle of those two, this one is made in China. As you can see, you have Rich Mix in there with the Fireball Beach design with McQueen Racing. You can see a bunch of the other releases. Now the third wave will include new releases of Conrad Camber and Richie Gunzit, who is the next gen Gasprim racer, so definitely keep your eyes out for those. But as for Rich Amixin here, he looks fantastic and it's definitely one of my favorite Fireball Beach versions just because I love pink and maybe it's not even because of what they did with the beach finish and the sand, just because he already looks awesome. I don't know, but I really do like it. He's got a determined expression as all the next gens do. He's got kind of like a glazed finish. You know, that's how I like to describe these Fireball Beach Racers because it's like the same coat of paint, all the same decals, but they have like this glazed finish that makes them sparkle because it's supposed to look like sand here. So you have the vents there, you got the headlights, of course TC for tank coat, and then has the full thing spelled out there. Some arrows leading into this tank, which seems to be only like a third of the way full, which is pretty cool. Same thing on that version there. He's got pink rims with sand in there. I like how they kind of got it in between, between the spokes, which is nice detailing. The whole base is sandy, and there's the date stamp if you're interested. Very nice sand on the side of the tires as well, covering up the light year text. And this is where a lot of the sand went. You can barely see any of the decals there. Like, I can barely even read them. But you know, we know that that says 36. You have some arrows here. His contingency sponsors are there, which would be the Piston Cup, Combustor, Carbon Cyber, and Synergy. I like this intertwining of all the stripes and everything in the arrows. I think it looks really cool and modern. On the roof there, you have 36 with the roof laps. On the back, he has that window with the window bars, and that is also glazed. All of his windows are glazed. You can see it perfectly in that angle there. Huge difference. On the back here, you have pretty much the same effect. No more rookie stripes, which is logical because the time of the Fireball Beach race that McQueen hosts is probably after Cars 3 and maybe a year after that where 
like all those next gens are no longer rookies anymore. Especially, you know, Jackson Storm lost his rookie stripes in the movie. So we know some next gens were already not rookies, basically, already on to their second year in Cars 3. I don't know about Rich Mixon. I think he did come in later on. So it would make sense that it would take a little bit longer for him to lose the stripes. But you guys know what I'm trying to say. But yeah, he looks great. The only thing that, I don't know, the spoiler is a little bit different, actually. A little bit glazed, but not a whole lot. So yeah, let me know in the comment section below which Fireball Beach Racer is your favorite. I like Rich Mixon a lot for sure. I like Chase Racelet and Paul Conrev. But I also have to go with like classic Mather. I think Mather is just perfect in this series because, you know, he would totally get himself full of sand and race around and just have a whole blast. Here is that collector card, by the way. Tank Coat TC. Those arrows there. On the back, you just have the car's logo. A nice little rainbow shine to it. And these little clips really do hold them well. I mean, you can hang it upside down and it's not even going to fall out. Some of them will fall out, granted, but most of them, 95% do not. So that's pretty nice. I like the little two-tone aspect of it as well. So that is all for my review here of a Rich a Mixin and, of course, Fireball Beach a Rich a Mixin. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And, I mean, you know, I feel like this review is a little too short. We're only at six and a half minutes here. Let me find a way to prolong it. The first order of business here is my Fireball Beach Rich Mixin prototype. So right off the bat, you can see he has 152 engraved on his front bumper there. Now I have seen a couple of these Rich Mixins, and by the way, you can actually feel that it's engraved with your thumb if you, you know, kind of slide it over. I've seen like 164 and 149. I've seen three numbers. And I know of one person who has one of the other numbers. I don't know who the third number went to. And then there's also a Luigi that has an engraved number, a Fireball Beach Luigi that is, that went to the same person that got the other, the 149 of Rich Mix in here. But I'm happy to have this one for sure. It does not have the date stamp further, you know, proclaiming that it's a prototype here. And it looks pretty much the same with everything else in terms of, you know, the decals, but it's definitely a prototype because of that engravement, if that's even a word, but I think that's pretty cool. I mean, I remember just looking at eBay from a Chinese seller, and I saw that they had like one of these rich mixins with that number, and I thought that was kind of weird, so I ordered one, and I got it, so that was nice. And here we have Jerry at Drive Chain. Now he's here to tell us that Eugene Karbareski could not make it because he is in the Motor Speedway of the South right now. He is under glass, motor speedway of the south set. Yeah, I cannot take apart that right now. I'm in a little bit of a time crunch, actually. But because it is the Christmas season, I gotta go do other stuff. But yeah, we do have Rem Meeker here to join us today. So that is a plus. We got a little bit of the team to celebrate with. And thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you, Aiden Slade. For the suggestion everybody else as well he was definitely one of the most suggested cars again along with you know speedy comet and i just want to address like brian spark conrad camber those have been suggested heavily as well but i probably will not be able to do them day 12 will be atomica car whether it is jim reverick or leroy hemming or rusty's racing center mater that is for you to wait and mull over for a couple days. And tomorrow's video will be decided by the comments. So please give me some good thoughts down there. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye now.